Hey, it's Alex coming at you on a Friday afternoon here at Bath Christian Church, and it's a rainy, cold Friday, and I don't know. We've had enough rain, but who's to say that I'd rather have the rain than have freezing rain or ice. Ice storms are not so nice. So anyway, we've got Valentine's Day coming up this weekend. You can see my big heart card up behind me. And Valentine's is just one of those those things that we you know we give Valentine's to other people that we care about, and it's just it's a great time because we just see all those hearts everywhere and the heart shaped candies and um, just all the gifts, the flowers, and giving Valentine's is really such a simple thing to do. Um, I think I remember giving Valentine's in school when I was a little girl, and now we give Valentine's to people that we love, and moms and dads and husbands, and, and it's just, it's a great time to show our love for one another. We've been doing that here at Bath Christian Church, the youth group. We, we've been working on some projects to show our love. Um, last Sunday, we got together out in the fellowship hall after worship, and we did some fantastic... Oh my gosh, you should see. I've got one, actually. You can see it. This is just one of the Valentines that the kids did, and, and it's got all kinds of cool stuff on it. It's got the shiny hearts. It's got some candy. It's got some 3D butterflies and some sparkly paint, and it's on a doily, and it's the best part about this is let all that you do be done in love. That's 1 Corinthians 16, 14. So we took these and some other really cool um, Valentines out. We had people doing different kinds and we took them out to our dear friends at Autumn Field along with some cookies and we took the staff a nice card and we took um, brownies for the staff because they're important too. And when I dropped those off on Sunday, um, the staff person said, please pray for us. And so, you know, I guess maybe the best Valentine we can give to them right now is just to keep them in prayer to say, Lord, keep them well and help them to at some point be able to open the doors so people can come back in and visit their loved ones again. So again, that's just one Valentine's project we did. We're working on something else that's top secret. And I can't tell you because it's just really special. We're doing some special Valentines for some special people, and they're going to know it when they get those this weekend. That's the youth group project for this weekend. So we're really excited because that is what Valentine's Day is all about, and, and giving, giving of ourselves so freely. You know, this Valentine's Day, this card back here looks pretty big, but in the scheme of things, it's probably very small because when I think about Valentine's and big Valentine's, my head just goes toward the best and biggest Valentine ever, and that is Jesus. When God sent Jesus, it, I, I just can't, there, I just, words escape me because that's, that's bigger. It's a bigger Valentine than the moon, than the, than the sun. Um, it's immeasurable. It's immeasurable, the love that, uh, God showed us when he sent Jesus to come to this earth and be our Savior. So that's what I really think about for Valentine's Day. And you know what? Valentine's, sometimes giving Valentine's is hard. I, I said how, how fun it is to give Valentine's to people that we love. Well, guess what? Sometimes God may call upon us to give a Valentine to somebody that maybe is not our friend. Somebody that we don't think that much of because maybe they say bad things but you know what we have to be kind we have to do like Jesus said we want to do unto others as we would have them do unto us so we want to remember that and give valentines to those that we don't necessarily think about and a valentine can even be something that's not in the shape of a heart. It can be a phone call. It can be a smile. It can be just small things to say hey I'm thinking about you. I care about you. And I want to let you know that Jesus loves you too. So let's just think about ways that we can be givers of Valentine's, not just on February the 14th, but every day, every day. Let's, let's let that love just pour out of us. And, and we just, sometimes we just have to love on our enemies. We just have to pour some love out on them because they're having a bad day. And that bad day may not have anything to do with us, 
but they're just having a bad day. And you know what? They just need people to just shower them with a little love to maybe turn that frown into a smile. And that's, that's what we're here for. So I just also want to let you know, I just also want to let you know this month's in the newsletter, and I hope you're checking this out, I've got a scripture verse for every single day, and guess what? These scriptures all have the word love in them. So if you haven't checked it out, it was in your newsletter for February, I would hope that you would do that, because don't we all need scriptures every single day about love and how important God's love is, Jesus' love? Wow. <laughs> it's just... Ooh, we can all have some days, man. And I'm telling you, getting in those scriptures will help bring a smile to your face and make your step a little bit lighter, make your heart lighter. Ah, well, that's what we got. Oh, we got bowling going on February 27th. I need everybody to let me know, ages four and up, if you're going to be able to join us for bowling on Saturday, February 27th. Okay, so need to know that. Um, got a movie night. We moved the movie night over to March, but we just got some great things coming up. So we just want you to tune in, be here Sunday for worship. Um, come and let's celebrate and let's worship together. There is no better place to be, none at all. So let's go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, Father, you're such a good and loving God, and you never leave us nor forsake us, even in the rain. Even in the hard times, even when things are looking pretty tough, um, we open your word and it just pours off the pages, the scriptures about your love, um, the reminders every day, Lord, that you, you show us how good you are in, in just making sure that we have everything that we need, Lord. We just want to pray for our Valentine project that we're going to be working on. Father, just, just keep everybody safe as we as we get together to, to, um, to put that Valentine project together and prepare for other activities this year, Lord. Just keep us all um, just together as children. Lord, help us to remember that we are children of the Most High God and that we live victorious every day giving those valentines out, giving those valentines out to people through smiles and cards and phone calls and, and all those things that we can do to say, hey, Jesus lives in me and I want to share his love with you. We pray for the pastor and Anne and all of our congregation. You know, each prayer need, Lord, you know, unspoken requests, Father. We want to lift up those as well, Father, but you know every need and you meet every need. We just need to lift it to you. Thank you. Give us a good day, a good weekend, and thank you, Father, that we can come here and be in your house Sunday. Uh, in Jesus' name, amen. And I do look to see you here this Sunday. And don't forget, as always, oh, and we're singing Sunday, so be sure you're here. And always bring a friend. Bye-bye.